Hey, uh, <laughs> hey, can we talk? <laughs> um, it's very pretty outside. A little warmer than yesterday. Um, it's not a cool breeze, like an actual cool breeze. But, um, actually it was a bit of a cold wind <laughs> yesterday, which was bliss to break a, a heat wave with. But it's very, um, it's just breezy, not windy. The warmer breeze. But it's beautiful. I'm going out there a minute to plant some more sunflowers. And now I put some garden flags up and pinwheels so big squirrels won't dig them up. I had sunflowers, you know, like this much a couple weeks back. And as they were coming up, freaking, they dug them up trying to bury extra peanuts. I was like, dudes, I feed you. But anyway, I got to go do that and tend to them after their uh, trip with the, uh, <laughs> their trip around with the heat wave. They got to be to go tend to them more. So. Anyway, Raspy's doing great. Anybody wants to know? Um, very grateful about that. He's been kind of feisty this morning, so that's right on but just be aware with the nice weather whatever I mean I know like Australia is not having the nice weather right now they're having the cool weather but they'll be frolicking in the surf when we're shivering and bundled up so um but remember when you are in a place that the nice weather is Obviously, we're going to be in contact with wildlife the more we're out and about in nature. Camping, hiking, um, camping and hiking, wolves and bears. And, or if you're doing, partaking of um, any water activities, um, of course, we don't have hippos in uh, America just hanging out. But, um, unless they've, they've escaped from a zoo, but, but some places do. And y'all need to be very careful. They may, they might look slow and lumbering, but they are not. And they don't swim in water. What you're seeing is them running on the, the bottom of the river. So, or lake, whatever they're in. Uh, yeah, so it's not like they're swimming. They're running. And they're running with no, you know, they're very boy. But anyway, here in America and other countries too, you're out in the oceans and just in general, maybe out fishing, places like that, marshes, swamps, you know, people go out and do recreational things. Well, you got gators. <laughs> of course, we don't have any gators in Jersey. Thank goodness. Um, but a lot of places have gators. And sharks. And like I said a few days ago on the uh, bull shark video, uh, you don't have to be in the ocean or even relatively close in the ocean in a body of water to have bull sharks. So even if you're hundreds of miles, if it body of water that you're uh, recreating in and around, if that anyway in any way, shape, or form, directly goes to the Atlantic, then there is the possibility, there goes my Mr. Raspy, then there is the possibility of sharks, of uh, bull sharks. And bull sharks are called bull sharks because it's like hitting a brick wall or a brick wall hitting you. They're solid, they're stout, they're strong and like a deer you can hit a deer and it could still live it'll F your car up okay so um, 
not to scare you, but I, I don't want anybody, you know, being taken by a bull shark in a river because they're 150 miles in a river away from an ocean, but yet that river does go into it. Um, yeah, well, <laughs> like the Madison and the Madisquan, Madawan and the Madisquan, and the Delaware Water Gap, there's a lot of them, that don't stop and have to go through some particular, um, like a dam, you know, anything like that. It doesn't go through dam or any kind of thing that's going to uh, sieve out larger sea life. So, um, but yeah, they can live, as I stated in the other one. They can live in brackish and even fresh water bull sharks. So please just be careful. Be aware. Um, like I said, we don't have gators, but gators, man, they're not slow either. They're a lot freaking faster, you know, <laughs> than, than you think, okay? Komodo dragons, whoa, go check out. Of course, we don't have those there. I'm just saying, lizards can be fast. People have the image of reptiles and lizards as being slow, but <laughs> they're not always slow. Same thing with hippopotamus. People think, oh, they're so huge. They can't move that fast. Elephants. Um, rhinos. Uh, yeah, they certainly can. They certainly can. So, don't look big and lumbering. Same thing with humans. There's a lot of people that are large that are a lot faster than you think they are. <laughs> so, don't just look at the book and see if it has pretty pictures in it. Okay? It's not, it's not something you should overlook. And anything, like, like, that is a carnivore is very possibly having you on the dinner menu as well if nothing else is available <laughs> okay so um yeah have fun spend time in the in the forest the mountains in the in the woods on the shore in the ocean but just appreciate yeah i i get your you're both having fun and appreciating, you know, being able to see or hear or both or whatever. But but just have that caution too, okay? I, I, I'm the, it's not like I just, I want you to be in, you said, oh, just be worried about that. No, enjoy it. But be aware of your surroundings as well. You can enjoy and be focusing on the gorgeous colors or looking at that pattern and still be feeling and still be aware of what's around behind and below and above you and if you're down by the ground you know the the bed the floor this the floor of the ocean then make sure you're watching the other places okay i'm just saying and know that sharks even small you know three footers can do serious damage even if it's just a temporary a taste like oops that's not what I want you know that's not my prey it can still damage things might not kill you but it can damage and literally change your life so um just be careful when you're having that fun be aware when you're um out there especially um in the places that you're, you've never been before, you've never experienced, because you really don't know what's around the corner or, you know, just down a little few feet. You don't know. And if you're in an unfamiliar place, um, just don't get too comfortable where you're not paying attention. I know it's very easy, especially in the evening after all, after all your exertions, all your fun and stuff and sun, and, um, you know, sitting by a campfire, even if it's not 
no swimming, sitting by a campfire, chilling out, the fire, the sound of the crackling and the watching the flames. It can be very hypnotic and you can just, you know, and you're supposed to be chilling out and relaxing too, you know, recharging, but never let your guard down. And I hate to say that. Um, I really hate to have to say that. But these days, you just can't let your guard down. Because if it aren't creatures, because humans have encroached on just about almost every inch of this planet. There are a few places that are removed, and we haven't. But we've encroached on this planet, and we've encroached on animals. And it's not their fault that they also need to feel their, their home is pr protected and safe, you know, with a margin of boundary. And if you get in that boundary, it's going to stress them. If somebody set up a, a, a tent on your, outside your bedroom window, you'd be freaking a little annoyed too. Especially if they then made a lot of noise and shit and scared off your dinner. You'd be a little pissed off too. Okay? So, you know, maybe you were getting delivery and, and they harassed the person and then took your dinner. Uh, you'd be having a word with them too. Well, how do you think the bears and the wolves and the others feel? Okay? And if you're in the ocean or around Gator, how do you think they feel? You just came into their home without even being invited. They're being a nice enough to share, but don't like, walk right in, you know? That's what I'm saying about you. Just be aware. You can enjoy and still be aware. It's like when you go to a carnival, you go to some place that, you know, a concert, anything where there's a lot of people. You still want to keep track of the people that are, you're with, but that doesn't mean you're not going to enjoy yourself, too. You still are being aware of what's happening if somebody hurts somebody and you that's next you know you're paying attention but you're enjoying too that's all i'm saying um i know people like me you get out into nature you're just like <gasps> come here kitty you if the leopard would come would let you you'd hug it you know uh yeah i can be <laughs> i can be that way but i mean of course, I have the critical thinking, so I stop myself. But do I have the desire? Yeah, yeah. Any animal I see, I have the desire to be like, oh, just come here. Just come sit with me for a sec. <laughs> um, and it's when I know <laughs> they're not going to come sit with me, but they might. <laughs> anyway, um... You can still be aware. Um, tap into your senses a little more. If you're surprised or, you know, startled by by not realizing something was in your proxemics before they were, like, right on top of you. Uh, maybe working a decade in um, law enforcement in the, in the prisons as a, as a corrections officer. Maybe that, I mean, I did have a, a, a natural tendency to do that but I think with that it kind of really honed it. <laughs> it I really learned how to take that natural uh, tendency and little fine tune it a bit <laughs> uh, sensitize it a little more it's just a notification but anyway um, yes just be careful enjoy your summer enjoy this beautiful the spring and the fall and the autumn and the summer weather i'm not saying don't enjoy them don't share it with nature that's the first thing i want to do is go someplace in nature there's an awesome cave system i i just looked at in pennsylvania that i really really want to go to do you hear that debbie I want to go take us, take you and me there. Just a sister's cave trip. So, um, anyway, <laughs> have a great, great day. 
it's yeah. Oh, it's one twenty. <laughs> so I'm gonna go water. I am going to enjoy some of that sun. Mm -mm -mm. And I'm gonna go plant some more sunflowers. And now those squirrels won't take them. I mean, they should be like a few feet high by now. I'm so frustrated, those squirrels. Oof. Anyway, peace out. Have a great day. And please just be aware of nature. And those news, those spiders that you might see, those big palm size with legs that big and they're yellow and black striped they're not they're harmless to people okay so they they're big but don't freak out they're gorgeous if you happen to see one just appreciate it and leave it be okay it's not dangerous to you and there's no need to stomp it okay so no stomping jura spiders be aware of wildlife and just avoid them. Don't be a jerk, okay? Peace out.